Hello students, let's start computer class, open your books. On page number 44, lesson number 4, algorithms and flow charts. In the previous class, we have discussed example 4 on page number 45, algorithm to compare two numbers and find the greater one. Topic we will discuss today flow chart, different symbols of flow chart and their functions. Objectives Its main objective is to represent the steps of algorithm in pictorial form. Now look at your book on page number 46. Topic is flow chart. As we know, an algorithm used to solve a particular problem by writing the number of steps. But in a flow chart, it is a pictorial representation of the steps of an algorithm. So, the process of drawing a flow chart for an algorithm is known as flow charting. So we can also say that it is the graphical representation of any problem. In the flow chart, we can use a picture representation instead of writing thousands of words. Similarly, flow chart provides a much better way of solving problem than writing a lot of descriptive text. So we can say that a flow chart is a pictorial or graphical representation of the steps. The process of drawing a flow chart for an algorithm called flow charting. In the flow chart, there is just a picture instead of using thousand of words. And it is much better and easy way to solve a problem. Now in a flow chart uses different symbols to represent different types of instructions. All the symbols are connected with each other with the help of flow lines. Now here different symbols and their functions are given. The first one is the start stop box. This start and stop box is used in the beginning and ending of the flow chart. Second one is input output box. It is used for accepting inputs or giving output of the program. Third one is the processing box. It is used for writing the instructions and can do any type of calculation. Fourth one is decision condition box. Like if we use if else conditions then we use this box. It is used for checking or applying any condition in the program. Fifth one is flow lines. These lines are used to show the flow of the program like in which direction the control of the program is moving. These arrows are used to connect various symbols that we use in a flow chart. Then there are connectors. Connectors are used to connect one part of the flow chart to another part. Now let's start with start and stop box. As we know it is used in the beginning and ending of the flow chart. We will see it with the help of an example. So here you can see an example where we have used start and stop box at the top and the bottom of the flow chart in which start and end has written. The second one is input output box. It is used for accepting input or giving output. We will see it with the help of an example. Here you can see we have the start box. Then there is an input box in which we can give the input. 
the next one is decision condition box it is used for checking and applying any condition let's see in example here you can see after the input box we have the decision box in which we will write any condition and then we will check if it is true or false the next one is the processing box it is used for writing the instructions and doing calculations let's see it with the help of an example here you can see after the decision box we have two process boxes in which the instructions and calculations have written so if the condition will true then the process box at the left side will execute and if the condition will false then the process box at the right side will execute next one is flow lines it is used to show the direction in which control of program is moving the arrows the lines that connect the symbols in a flow chart is known as flow lines the next is connectors it is used to connect one part of the flow chart to another part we will see it with the help of an example here in this example of flow chart you can see a circle here that is a connector which connects one part of the flow chart with the other part so let's discuss this flow chart the first instruction is start the second instruction is input we give the input number that is x then there is a decision box here if x is greater than 5 this is a condition like if x is greater than 5 and if this condition will true then the message will print wow that's one big number you have got there and if this condition will false then the message will print gosh that's sure is a teeny tiny number then there is a connector and then next instruction again input x and then end so today we have discussed flow chart different symbols of flow chart and their functions now do practice of this topic at home